Hey, what's up guys? This is Ryan and uh, I am uh, working today on the uh, Game Dev John uh, Ultimate Unity Game Jam uh, number three. Um, this is the third one that I've done. Um, I signed up for his Ultimate Unity course on Udemy, um, which I'm addicted to, um, and uh, started designing games. So he's had three game jams. This theme is Out of Time. Um, which I think is a pretty good theme, nice open theme to to work on. Uh, so I was thinking about time, and I was reading about time, and kind of uh, you know thinking about well, you know, what's I was actually going to call it Time Runner because I was thinking you know I'm kind of want a a platform runner type game, and uh, and I was like oh, I don't like that name. There's some Mark Hamill movie with with that name, so I'm like no, I don't want that name. So I'm trying to think of a good name, and I'm looking around at time, and I'm looking at Kronos and and then I came across the word acronistic, which basically means something or someone out of their time. And I thought it was kind of a cool concept. And then um, I knew that I kind of wanted to keep the art simplified um, this time so, um, so that I could work with it really quickly. Um, so I was like, okay, well, you know what? There's like those cool silhouette games like Limbo. I'm like, let's do something with silhouettes because they're easy to process and there's a ton of public domain resources out there that you can use. And, uh, and I was like, right on. So I come posited this. I'm just going to reduce it down to 100. And uh, my name is the Anachronist. So he's a guy that's out of out of time. And basically he's going to run through, hopefully if I can get a bunch of them done, different levels of different times and find an item that's out of place that's causing a uh, rift in the space-time continuum, something like that, right? So um, it's going to be pretty cool, I think. So this guy I kind of roughed in and I took some public domain silhouettes and gave him a hat and drew in some goggles for him and kind of, you know, picked a pose that was, you know, of what was available um, that basically uh, matched a standing pose. And I kind of liked his, uh, the tails on his coat here and stuff. So I'm going to go back. Okay, so this is what I did last night. This is where I stopped. Um, this morning I brought it into Illustrator and I basically drew out all of the pieces um, of him. Apologies, I've locked all of my layers. I'm probably going to have to relock them again after. But um, I redrew all the pieces of him kind of in an overlapping way so that I can bring them into um, Adobe Premiere and rig them to move together. So you can see there's a little bit of ankle underneath here. Gives me some flexibility to move the feet. Same thing with the hands, have a bit of a wrist. Elbows are rounded. Um, the neck and head, we'll have to see how these fit. But the good thing about when you work with a puppet and illustrator um, is that um, you can make adjustments to the, you know, to this illustration and illustrator while I'm animating an After Effects. So um, if I need a little bit more neck there because I'm turning his head too much, I can actually go in and edit the file to do that and then check it in the other poses and make sure that it, it still lines up in a way that's, um, you know, graceful. Um, so what I've done is I've basically traced out all of the movable parts um, into um, different layers and they all have to be in different layers for this to work and name them you know, using a kind of standard naming convention, but indicating, you know, if there's, if there is a left and a right, which one is left and which one is right. And I always do it like the puppet's left is left upper arm and left lower arm, right? So, um, uh, not the one that's on my left. Um, but I don't know if that's how other people think. So I'll, I'll move on from that. Okay. So I'm going to go into After Effects now and I'm going to create a new composition. And I'm going to call it um, Acronist Sprite. And I'm going to leave it at the size because I want it to be at the same size we're working on in the game. And this is background is black. Um, and I'm going to go to edit composition settings. This is it, it's technically transparent in After Effects, but you can set it to whatever you want. So I'm going to set it to a, a bright color like we're working on in the game. That'll make the most sense, right? And then I'm going to go File, Save As, and I'm going to save this in my Acronis folder. So, yeah. Acronis, da da da. And 
this is a source file, and I'm going to call that add honest sprite. And there we go. And now I'm going to go to file, import file, and again, the acronist source, acronist puppet. So that's my Adobe Illustrator file. And I'm going to press import. And I don't want to merge the layers, so I want to change it to composition. And we'll leave it at layer size. And I'm going to say OK. And it created a new composition and also imported all of my layers as AI. So now, actually, this is Acronis Sprite, but it created, I'm going to get rid of this one. We can leave this as, as Puppet, double click, and here we go. Now, in this composition, there we go. Composition settings, going to change this color again. I didn't know it was going to create a new one for some reason. I thought I had an option to uncheck that, but I don't. So, learn it by doing it twice. Okay, so there's my guy. And if I look in my timeline here, I've got all of his different body parts. So now we can animate them. So um, that's kind of cool. So I'm just going to try and scale this so that I can work well. I want to kind of see him very well. File, save. Okay, now I'm going to use the great Google on the sidebar here. And I'm going to go walk, cycle. No, I guess I can show you guys this. Walk cycle. And I want to go to tools. I don't know, settings. Advanced search, and I want to say free to use, share, or modify, even commercially, and images, and that is it good, this one might be good, good enough, uh, just hoping for one a little bit more detailed, uh, let's try, uh, Okay, so this one here, I'm just gonna copy image, and I'm gonna go in here and go edit. Control V. Oh, you won't let me paste, will you? Alright, so I'm gonna save this. Save image as, and cycle, go back into file, import file, and go to my downloads, and there we go, break down a walk. Alright, I'm just going to pull this in here just so we have some reference, view, zoom out, view, zoom out. Now, I don't know exactly what the frames per second of my game are. I've got 40 seconds there. My walk does not need to be 40 seconds. Composition, composition settings. So think about walking. How long does it take to take, like, full steps? Like, two seconds tops, right? I'm actually standing in my living room right now. Um, if you can hear that. So I'm going to change this to two seconds. Alright, so now we've got a much shorter timeline. And uh, so what I want to do now is I want to rig uh, this guy. And um, there's uh, a couple steps that we have to do um, to get the animation working in the way that we want to. So the first thing I'm going to do is select uh, the chest. No, let's start with the hip. Okay, so the hip is always kind of like the base of the character. Um, I don't know why, it just is in the middle. It's the pivot of everything. Um, so things are going to connect to the hip. So things that are going to connect to the hip are going to be the uh, right upper leg. So in this parent column, 
you're going to parent it to the hip. And I think that what I have to do is go right upper leg to the hip. And left upper leg also to the hip. Now, the right lower leg is attached to the right upper leg, right? So, right lower leg to right upper leg, good. And left lower leg to left upper leg, and that's good. The left foot is connected to the left lower leg. And the right foot is connected to the right lower leg. And uh, I'm going to connect the tails to the hip also. And we got another tails here. And tails, those are the tails of his jacket. I'm going to animate them a little bit if I can uh, when he's jumping and whatnot. Uh, I'm going to go to the hip here. And good. Okay, so uh, the abdomen can connect, I believe, to the hip. So grab the swirly guy to the hip. The chest, I want to connect to the abdomen. Okay, uh, the right upper arm, I want to connect to the chest. The left upper arm, I want to connect to the chest. The left over, left lower arm to the left upper arm. The left hand to the left lower arm. <laughs> Sorry, I'm getting bored, guys. Um, left lower arm to the left upper arm. Right hand to the right lower arm. Uh, the neck is connecting down to the chest. The head is connecting to the neck. The left eye connects to the head and the right eye also connects to the head and the hat connects to the head. Okay, so the sidewalk doesn't need one, the hip doesn't need a parent, and then these guys here I'm not going to worry about right now because basically um, they're null. Alright, so now what's going to happen is, um, so this is my arm, right? So I'm going to go to, uh, that's the left upper arm. Okay, so I'm going to find left upper arm in the list, list here, left upper arm, and I'm going to go uh, rotate. Okay, so I'm going to rotate it, and because the lower arm, I thought we turned this to like half, because the lower arm is connected to it. Look at that pixelation there, adaptive resolution. Well, anyway, uh, it does move with it, okay? So I can set that back to zero, and I'm going to move this back to full. If it's going to be blurry, it might as well at least be in, in focus. Okay, now this one, if I rotate it, Oh, I got the wrong one again. This guy. We rotate this. Oh, it won't let me grab it. Hang on one sec. Uh, left lower arm. There we go. I'm, oh, I'm grabbing the wrong dial. That's why. And open up transform and rotate this one. It rotates freely of this one because this is anchored to this, but not the other way around, right? So I'm going to set this back to zero. This one, I'm going to rotate back to zero. Okay, so the reason why the two separated is because this is rotating around this point here. So that's the anchor point right there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that anchor point and I'm going to use these dials and I'm going to scrub. Okay, so that one doesn't really need to go this way. Scrub until I get that anchor point at the elbow. Or thereabouts. And it's this one to 90. And maybe we 
can actually move this in by hand. Not Alt, Control, no, Control, Alt. Oh, that's easy. There we go. Boom. Done. Okay, so, note to self, double click, go in and change the pivot point that way. There we go. So I've got it inside of the joint a little bit. There we go. And now, if I rotate this guy, it's rotating from that joint instead. Right? Beautiful. Okay, so I'm going to change this back to zero. And I'm going to move it back up here. And I'm going to do the same thing for this elbow. Again, double click, grab this. Put it up here, close that, that's way faster, awesome, okay. And then the whole thing comes with it, very cool, okay. So the hand, same deal with the hand, double click, let's move this guy over here. I'd like to note that like I haven't really done this before, I know that it, it might actually look like I know what I'm doing. Um, and I kind of do, like, similar to, I've done this kind of thing in Flash, I suppose, before, but not in After Effects. I haven't ever rigged a, rigged a character here, so this is this is the first time for me, which is why I'm recording it, because um, it's kind of cool. Um, I did watch a series of videos on Udemy um, that did involve some rigging, but they didn't do it in this style. Um, it was about the puppet tool, mostly, and, and starching the character, but they didn't, you know, move the pivot points. It was more about bending limbs than it was about actually I'm um, doing like a puppet doll type puppeteering um, so okay so that's cool there I think oh, let's actually move this one right to the edge all right cool so now I can rotate the hand if I want oh, let's try that again uh, where on left hand oh did I do this hand I did the other hand no I didn't do this hand Perfect. And we're going to just move it back up here. Blender bar. Alright, so I'm going to go through all the limbs and do this. Um, I'll let it record, but I'm not really sure how long it's going to take. So I may speed it up for you later. But uh, try to be entertaining in the meantime. moving it to about where the knee should be. And we'll bring that up here. I might need to adjust the legs with the uh, tails off also here. Where did it go? Tails confused me, so we're going to turn them off for now. Where are you? Left tail. Off. Zoom in back in. Alright. Cool. Alright, this one. So those two are done. These ones need to be done. Uh, here.
stance isn't uh, super super masculine, but uh, we're gonna get right up with this anyway, so no one will know. All right, tails on. Good stuff. Okay, now this this is arm again here up to the shoulder. This guy is done already. Awesome. And the hand is done. The chest, I feel, should come from the bottom. Because it's coming off the hip, right? Or off the abdomen. Uh, the abdomen. It's rotating. Here, I think at the bottom. Oh, sorry, I got an itch here. keep things at zero, but looking at what I'm just doing now, it's probably going to end up being a little bit more organic than that, but we'll see what happens. Goes down. One more time. There we go. That looks not too bad. This one needs to come up here. So looks good, looks good, looks good. And the head, the neck. And again, maybe bring this to the bottom. And we'll pull the whole neck down. Takes the head with it because they are connected in that order. These are fine. And the hatch should connect it. Uh, I guess we can drop it down about here. And then move it back into place. So now everything's parented. And I'm going to move the left arm here up into a shouldery place and then kind of grab the arm. So I want the left upper arm and I want to rotate it. There we go. So now he's got his arms out. I think. Good. Check out. Check his boots. At the ankle. Perfect. Move this one back up in here. Again. To the ankle. 
angle perfect and back up in here. Okay, I like his head. Just kind of up a bit. a little bit, bring that chin out a bit. Alright, not bad, pretty good. Okay, so I'd say that that's pretty good for a base figure. File, save. So I just copied this composition, so it's not the composition we're working in. We're working in the Aquinas puppet, but um, just kind of to keep the base um, layer there. All right, so um, I'm just going to pause the video here, and we'll take a little break and uh, come back in a few minutes, and uh, we'll start to animate him.